Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be covering a bonus read for the sign of Virgos for last week for the most views. As I told people before, I always will um give a free bonus read. It depends how I feel. It might be love or it might just be a basic general read or however the divine point me to go. At this present time, I'm going to do just a regular bonus read for the signs of Virgo. For the most views, I appreciate your views. I appreciate everything. And I, and I thank you for your continued support. And the divine, we all pray. Amen. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands reverse, which is the lore of the root of the power of fire. You could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, or Virgo, but you got this reverse. So that was the overall energy. So we want to see what you're reading about. Because it's basically saying that you're not making something happen or effort in a situation. Don't know the situation offhand. So we want to say, Universe guides, spirit guides, please let me read these readings accurately, officially, and quickly. And you are always with trust. Amen. Without any further delay, I'm going to go ahead and do your reading. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell Virgos what they need to know. Right on the floor. And I tried my best for it not going on the floor, and it went there anyway. That gets on my nerves. Let me pull this here. Jeez, being little is serious. This is close to me and make sure I got fat. I think what I need to do is move upper and then let this come close to me. All right. The first card that came out is the fool. You took a chance in some type of situation in your past. The card that hit the floor was the eight of swords. Some type of anxiety you're going through is some type of situation in your present energy. I'm going to go ahead and get one more card. Then I'm going to use my other miniature cards to clarify. Okay, you was trying to come out. You got the two of wands. You're trying to make something happen. Maybe it's two people in some type of partnership, relationship, or friendship. But this is something you're trying to make happen. This is the Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo reading. So, you got, the, you got the full, you got the eight of swords, some anxiety you're going through right now. And then you got the two of moms, trying to make something happen. The lore of domination. So, so basically, I'm just seeing that you took a chance on something that probably brought some anxiety to your life. Some worry, some where's though you can't sleep. Or maybe you took a chance on something and you just exhausted. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use... The Morgan Greer deck, which is like a expensive deck. I got the um, miniature cards. I like them because they got the star in the back, which is my nickname. So, I was really great. Kind of um, peeped it off another tarot reader because I don't, I read what and hear what other tarot readers be saying. Cause that's just what I do. You got to be a explorer. Can't just be locked up in yourself. So, I'm going to use these cards, and I'm going to do some clarifying for my Virgos and see what could be going on. Uh, remember, the, ro the, the roles could change. Your present could be your future. Your past could be your um, present. So, you know what's going on in your life, but I know for your present energy, I feel it. You got the Eight of Swords, and that's some anxiety going on. That's close to some type of something that's not going right. Something. But I see you go ahead and make something happen in the future. With that fire energy. But I don't know. So I'm going to go clarify the foolish man. Universe, bear guy, holy angel. Okay. It came out sideways. So. When it come out sideways. I was taught that it's not upright. It's reversed. So basically you got a failed victory. You took a chance to sell them in your past. And it failed. Like bottom line. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to clarify the eight of swords 
Maybe the spell victory brought you this anxiety because you have... Yep, the Eight of Swords. You feel bound up, tied, tied, blind, can't move. You can get out of it, but this is the way that you feel. You with, you you got a lot going on. You got the Eight of Swords double whammy as that. Wow. For your present energy. Maybe you feel as though somebody did this to you. Made you. I don't know. This is, not, this is usually a self-afflicted energy. When you have the eight of swords. That's 16. That's double whammy in your present. I don't like that. So if something got you bound. Maybe something that was a failed victory. Like you. It's like you can't see. You, you, you can't see you blind. You can't see through something. And that's your present energy. Like mm. I don't know. I'm going to clarify the two of wands. Universe, spirit, God. Okay. Okay, you got the seven of swords. Swords represent clarity and truth of the matter. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be significant in your reading because you got this. This is seven of swords. This is somebody trying to get away with something without somebody seeing them. Or this could be you trying to get away with something and you think nobody saw you, but they did. I mean, with the two of wands, because it's a lot of swords here. And swords usually represent some type of pain, some type of betrayal, some type of um, cutting through bullshit with clarity. Like clarity and truth about a situation. Could it be the truth about how you really are? Who are you? Like about your inner self, how you perceive to others how others perceive about you or how people feel about you this is what i'm getting and it seems like that you in a you in a state of self-affliction because of what others feel about you that's what i'm getting with this reading i'm not getting nobody doing nothing to you this is how you feel inside like you feel that people is cutting through and, and cutting you off and making you feel this type of way. But this seems like it's some energy that you brought on yourself. And this is not new. This is long time coming. It's about how you carry yourself and what you say to people. And maybe this is why you have felt victories in the past because people don't like it. And now they just expressing it. Like, I mean, this is like a self-affliction reading more so than... Somebody is cutting through bullshit, you arguing, and there's a lot of swords. There's a lot of back and forth going on, too. Like, it seems like some people or some person said what they needed to say, and they left it. And now you're, you're, you're hurt. You're afflicted. Like, when you get stabbed by a knife, it's like affliction wounds, and you got 16 of them. So that's not a good read, and you need to clear your chakras. Something ain't right, and then you got the six of swords. You want to leave the past behind and move forward and get clear with clarity and truth for the situation. Like you just put your head down after everybody said and did what they want, but it seems like this is a personal affliction upon your own self. This is your own doing, Virgo. Bottom line, like it's nothing else going on. Now I'm gonna clarify this eight of swords once again because you got it out double whammy. And, like, it makes me, like, even want to go get a regular card deck again. Because you keep getting the six same cards. They keep coming back out for you. It's not even different cards coming out. So, let me go. I'm about to use the Illuminati deck for you. And see if they want to say something else to you. Because your reading is self-afflicted yourself and you just want to run away and leave the past behind but it seems like somebody trying to get away with something or this could be you trying to get away with something and then you want to move forward and leave the past behind like that's what i'm getting for it's like a deep reading this the illuminati that i had these cards for a year i don't use and open all my cards but for you guys i just want to see what's going on because Y'all reading last last week. Y'all reading was crazy. Like y'all gotta do some 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 healing. And, and and honestly, from this reading, what I'm seeing is like y'all heard it people in the past with maybe how you came at people. 
that now they don't want to hear nothing that you got to say because maybe you put yourself on a high pedestal like you're better than everybody is what these reading is telling me and people got tired so they start coming at you like like the um darts throwing darts at you different darts different people because this is not one person this is different people coming at your neck and making you feel like you blind can't move and can't see and that it seemed like that people trying to get away with something or you trying to get away with something and you just want to leave the past behind but i don't think people leaving the past behind because maybe you hurt people and this is afflictions that you getting back on yourself now like i say what i read i don't bottom line i don't be trying to shit the coat nothing like other readers i see they don't want to say certain things but listen this is the virgo bonus read for the men because y'all had the most views last week and y'all reading is still coming out not right so universe spirit guy holy angel please tell virgos okay that flipped straight over see what's going on you got the two of pentacles like yeah you trying to stay balanced in the situation you got all these swords these people sticking you and you trying to stay balanced you're trying to maintain balance through watery waters <laughs> bottom line that's what i see with you like I don't know. I'm going to leave you reading here because your reading is deep, but I see you got to do some self-searching. Nobody doing nothing to you. This is what you've been doing to others for probably years, literally, and they just coming at you now. I'm going to get a chakra insight for you, and like this is my chakra insight. I literally don't open these because I was putting them up, but, just, but for you, you need it. And see what's going on because your chakras are out of the mess. And a lot of, I know a couple Leo, excuse me, I don't know why I said that. Maybe because I need to do that reading coming up. But I know a couple Virgos. Like, I got a, I, I have cousins, I got friends. And like, I ain't had no problem with Virgos, but some of them be putting their stuff on a pedestal and they say things out their mouth about others and they hurt people's feelings. And if this is you and this is how you portray yourself and you've been doing this for a real, real long time, now people just coming back at you because they tired of you disrespecting respecting them yo they feel disrespected because you just act this way that way and you know people they get tired yo like that's how they roll you just you you hurt others and you use people is what i to your best of to your advantage that's what's coming out here you got connection wow family situations universe love and support you got confusions. Like, I'm not even, I don't even want to go ahead and read it basically because I had this card before. And when you start reading stuff and you keep getting the card, it's time for you to maintain connections with your family, friends, and your love life. Like, you got to have your connections. Your connections is out of balance, your chakras is out of balance. Bottom line, and that's your heart chakra. Your heart ain't right. You're not pure. You're not pure. Like, you could say what you want, Virgo. Whatever you say, you're not pure. You talk, maybe you talking about your, your, your the people you be for. Maybe you be talking about people or, or you doing something. You hurting people. So it's just coming back on you. That's all I see. So, like, I'm going to just leave that there because that flew straight the hell out. Like, and I didn't even want to open the chakras. Like, your chakra, your heart, your heart chakra is, is unbalanced. And that's the best thing that's supposed to be about a person. Your heart chakra balance, you don't believe, you just think about just yourself or your little circle. And that's how they be. <laughs> that's why mm -mm. so i'm letting you know what your reading was and i'm about to go ahead and get some oracles real quick from the universe and the moon to end your reading and see what's up with you but other than that it's time for you to take care of yourself and stop being nasty to people or stop giving negative things out you're doing something negative and it's just coming back to bite you because this is how you was doing. You've been doing this for a while. This ain't new. These afflictions and pains that you're going through is something that, or the people putting on you, is not new. This is what you've been giving off your energy to others so they tired of you, yo. That's what they are. They tired of you. They just tired of you. And they got a right to be. The card that came out, they one was both of them reverse. One of them says resolutions, justice, and legalities. You 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 may have legal battles coming to you that you don't know nothing about as of right now, because you got some legal issues coming on, or you got some that you coming out of with the two 
And it's crazy because you already you got the two of pentacles as well, where it's balanced. You got unbalanced. So you might got some legal stuff going on that you don't know nothing about that's about to come up. You also got um, negativity, anger, bondage, and greed. Yeah. Like, that's what I was trying to say. Like, they be y'all, like a lot of y'all is literally selfish. You can't get a penny out of y'all, but y'all want somebody always doing something for y'all. And, and, and y'all got a lot of negative energy. And anger and bondage. And this is what this is. You feel like you in a bondage. But y'all got a lot of anger. Y'all negative. Like 60% of y'all, y'all negative. Well, everything that comes out y'all mouth, y'all not trying to help somebody. Y'all always harming somebody with y'all mouth. Y'all mouth vocal. So that's why you going through all this because of how you are. So that's about you. It's not about nobody else. And that's what y'all are. Y'all negativity. Bottom line. I see right, right through this reading. Y'all always got something negative to say about somebody or always what somebody do. You got the moon reverse. It says conscious are within reach. Like you coming up out of notice what's going on in your conscious. That's because they worry about everybody else so much. They don't see the dirt that they do and the shiestiness they are in. <laughs> Negative energy. That's what y'all reading. Ne Virgo negativity. And anger, bondage, and greed. And some of them are greedy. They very greedy and they stingy. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels. Please tell Virgos what they need to know. For that bonus read. From the last week of October. Finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. That's if you believe. But... I'm leaving y'all reading basically one more card. And then I'm, wow. The card that fell said rejection. I don't even feel like reading a, another card because that's on the floor. So basically it's saying that you, 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 you get, you being rejected by people. And that's what it is. Cause you got, whoa, and trickery. Oh, I got to get these cards. Hold the fuck up. Two of them came out. As I was about to go ahead and do my thing. And what came out is not cute. Trickery. This is rejection. You don't like rejection. You be rejecting people or this. In other words, with this reading you got going on, Virgo, people is rejecting you now. They don't want to be in your presence like that because they, they got it to their mind that you just, you got a lot of anger with you and you got a lot of negativity inside and they don't want to be around you. And for all these swords, people done told you this already in their own way. And you just don't pay it no mind. And then you got trickery. Like, that's what I mean. Negativity, anger, bodies, and greed. Like... You 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 got a lot of trickery with you, like you 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 wear a mask, so people just done. Bottom line, this is the bonus read for um the sign of Virgos, peace, light, and blessings. It's time for you to get yourself together and focus on you.